Hey guys, today I want to show you a little bit about the Element, um, the Waves synthesizer. Um, this is really an amazing synthesizer. Um, it has such a great sound and looks very simple. Some people might say it's ugly. I, I personally, I like I like the way it looks and how old and analog it looks. And um, with this synth, it's just the difference between a normal synth and uh, or a normal synth. The difference between just the average uh, soft synth and this one is um, mainly the the waves. If you choose just a saw wave here, it sounds so much better. Um, and that shows when you're making a sound. In the end, your sound is gonna your sound is just gonna sound better and sharper and a little bit more defined and um, the trade-off is that you uh, lose lots of CPU power because this is a very very heavy synthesizer and um, it's a bit limited in options so we just have one filter um, with four, four different types um, we just have two oscillators etc nothing like um, nothing like massive for example with all its steppers and stuff like that um, but if you want to make just simple, cool bass sounds, it's great for that. And you can also make some more more advanced sounds for it. I've got um, sounds like this as well. Um, so let's make a sound. Let's set it to a full reset. It will sound like this. And we have the two oscillators here. We can, um, with the octave button here, we can change the pitch. So now we're just hearing oscillator one because this next slider is all the way to the left. So I set it to 32. And then we have this little button right here. It says DCO or VCO. And DCO stands for Digital Controlled Oscillator and VCO for um, something else. <laughs> I think VCO is the uh, analog mode and DC is the digital mode and um, in digital mode the wave will always sound the same and in VCO it will start to drift a little bit and sound a little bit more analog so I'm going to use that and then I can um, sign modulate this wave a little bit which is sort of like FM and now I can set the mix somewhere in the middle so I can hear the other oscillator as well I'll set it a bit higher. I can try a sign. Or I could try a square. And I like this uh, pulse width, um, which is modulating the, um, the, L of the shape of the wave. So um, I can try to modulate that with um, my aftertouch on my keyboard. So I go to the mod matrix, I choose aftertouch for the source and then the destination should be oscillator 2 pulse width. Okay, it's already on there. And then I set the modulation amount. And now when I press the key uh, a little bit harder, it will start to modulate this. And I can invert that uh, modulation by clicking on this circle right here. Um, so now I'm going to set the filter, first uh, let's set the cutoff very low and here we have an envelope button and this tells the, um, this tells the filter how much it's uh, listening to the envelope and that is this envelope which is hard, hardwired to the uh, filter cutoff. bit of filter FM which is modulating the uh, cutoff very fast so it will introduce a little bit of distortion then I have my keyboard tracking here so um, how much the filter will listen to where I play on the keyboard I have my velocity so how much it will listen to velocity and the shape so that's the general sharpness or um, slowness of the filter if I set it very sharp I get a little um, I start click at the beginning and now it's a lot slower when I set it to 50. Um, so let's try and set the resonance a bit. And a map an LFO to it. So oscillator, uh, sorry, filter cutoff LFO 2. 
And if I choose LFO 3, um, I now use this LFO. And now I can sync the RAID. And choose some different waveforms. So that's the, the nice thing about these two LFOs, you can sync them, but if I use one of the first two LFOs, they just have this rate in um, in Hertz, or it's, I think it's percentage, but um, you cannot sync this one, but the advantage of that is that if I now go to another, uh, a third modulation slot, and I'll choose my aftertouch again, I can set it to the, um, where is that, LFO1 rate, and I can very precisely um, set the timing of the of the wobble. Of course, I should um, set this one to LFO one as well. So now, when I press the key harder, it's um, gonna go faster. see if there's anything else we can do we could try and turn on the uh, sequencer right here it's at the bottom set it to sequence and then make the VCA very short we get a completely different sound so the pitch a little bit higher a bit of reverb and a bit of distortion And now let's try to map the decay of the VCA to um, the aftertouch. So VCA envelope D, which I think stands for decay. So that's a cool sound for in a build up, for example, where you, and if you press the key harder, it's gonna open up more, especially if you give it some more amount. So first it's, it's, it can be very sharp, and then when you press it harder, it's uh, opening up and we can do the same with the, um, with the filter. And then here you can um, make your melody if you don't set it to octave. So if you set this to uh, just one, we can just choose a nice melody here. some different waves, add a little bit of sub, So I just wanted to show you uh, some of the things about this cool synth because I think it gets often forgotten and th and that's a shame because it's it's a wonderful synthesizer. Um, so I found with this experiment um, with this synth, it's not it's not that difficult to understand. It might look a little bit weird in the beginning, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. And I'm sure you're gonna be rocking some awesome sounds in here because it it, it just sounds great. Uh, thanks and see you next video.